Sup guys, this is Zimangaka89, and welcome to my new segment on this channel. Uh, this series of videos will be called Monthly Questions from You, and basically, if you haven't seen my last video with the awesome mask from Japan, basically uh, what these set of videos will be is um, a chance for my viewers, my subscribers, to ask me questions um, about anything. It can be personal questions, manga related questions. Um, anything. I will answer them no matter what. Uh, even if they're troll questions, I'll, I'll gladly answer them. I'll include them in the video or whatever. So yeah, basically I um, answer five questions a month. And since I posted that last video um, two weeks ago, I think. <laughs> it's the phone. Um, since I posted that video... I've gotten at least 12 questions, so um, what I'll do is every month I'll answer five questions, and whatever questions get, um, whatever questions get left over, I'll just move them onto the next month, and so on. So, yeah, let's begin this. I hope you enjoy. Question one. When and why did you decide to make your YouTube channel? Well, I forget why I really wanted to create the channel in the first place. I think it was just a random idea one day while I was doing homework and I was bored. Um, I remember the first video being really bad because I didn't use a tripod to film and I just held it in my hands and it was really shaky and stuff. Uh, it was also really lengthy and really boring. Uh, I think I, think I j basically just wanted to show off my manga tools in that video. <laughs> um, I was also watching Manga Pro at the time. So he kind of inspired me to start this channel, even though I knew it wasn't going to be uh, successful at all, or successful as him. Um, sometime around the middle of October was when I created my first video on this channel. You should also go check out Manga Pro's channel, he has some pretty cool stuff. And on to the next question. Question 2. What nationality are you? What nationality am I? Hmm, well... Uh, I'll tell you, I'm a pretty awesome breed of human. <laughs> I'm Chinese, mostly Chinese, and I'm also um, very little part Indian. My mom is from Taiwan, and uh, my dad is from Guyana, which is in South America. And his grandparents were also Chinese, so he is also quarter Chinese. So I'm like... Chinese and Indian, but more Chinese than Indian, a lot more Chinese than Indian, but yeah, um, so I like to call myself a Chindian, because basically Chinese plus Indian equals Chindian, so yeah, it's pretty simple, and that's basically what I am. <laughs> Question 3. When did you first start drawing manga? What got you interested? Okay, so what got me interested in manga? So this is going to be a really long story. When I was around four years old, I used to watch Cartoon Network a lot, um, Toonami. And that's when I first uh, first saw Dragon Ball Z, Dragon Ball Z. And it was the fight against uh, Goku and Vegeta in the Buu Saga, I think. And that got me interested. I was only four, so I, I was like, I don't even know what the heck is going on. But I saw it for the first time, and I was like, man, this is cool. Um... It's epic. So then I started watching it a lot more. I started keeping a schedule like, oh, it shows like every, like at 4.30 or something. So I kept schedule. I started watching the episodes. Um, by like five years old, I uh, <clears throat> bought a, um, the VCR for the Revenge of Cooler, I think. No, Cooler Returns or something like that. So I bought a VCR for that and I watched it. And I was like, ah. Oh, I think this is really cool, and by then I started getting into <clears throat> Dragon Ball Z as a little kid, and um, a year after, or half a year later, I'm watching Kids WB for some reason. I'm flipping through channels, and I see Yu-Gi-Oh. I was like, oh man, this Yugi kind of looks like Super Saiyan Goku, because they all have like spiky hair and stuff. And yeah, so I started watching that, I was like, oh, this looks a lot like Dragon Ball Z, I might like it. Um, so I started watching that. I got really into it, like, obsessively into it. I started buying the cards, everything. I have, like, 
a notebook, a Yu-Gi-Oh notebook, and yeah, so um, Yu-Gi-Oh and I think in the beginning Yu-Gi-Oh influenced my drawings a lot because I was six, and everyone I drew pretty much looked like Yu-Gi-Oh, just like the hair and everything, it's the angry eyes. Yeah, this is pretty funny. And then after that, I started getting more into Dragon Ball Z. I started watching from the beginning, because uh, I was older and I understood more. So I watched more Dragon Ball Z. And then that's when my <coughs> drawings uh, became very Dragon Ball Z influenced. I'm pretty sure, like, mostly everybody started, started off uh, reading manga by watching Dragon Ball Z or something, or reading Dragon Ball Z. And many years later... I'm like 9, 10-ish, and I get my hands on the manga of, of Dragon Ball Z. Um, yeah, so I read those. At that time, I didn't know that um, anime, the anime Dragon Ball Z, was actually um, a TV version of the, the book Dragon Ball Z. I always thought it was just the anime, and then the book came later. But it turns out the book was first, I realized, and yeah, so... I started doing comparisons because you know how the animation is similar to uh, the book despite the fillers and everything. So yeah, I started getting into that and then I, I bought a lot of books. I still watch Dragon Ball Z every now and then. Uh, and then summer of 5th grade, I was about 12, 13, I got into Bleach and I read volume 13. I just picked up a random volume at my library. I read volume 13 and uh, I was like, oh wow, this is pretty good. This is actually really good. The art like drew me in because it was so detailed and it was so action packed. So yeah, and then I borrowed no volume 14 and then I was like, oh, I, got, I really got to start reading the series. And then I, I read from the beginning and then I checked out the anime and blah, blah, blah. And that's how I got into Bleach. That's been basically my, uh, I've been following that intensely since I found out about Bleach, like, three, four years ago. Um, unfortunately, the, the anime ended, but the manga is still going, so I'm gonna read it till the end. Um, yeah, but then, at that time, Bleach really influenced my drawings a lot. Um, I think I've grown past the Dragon Ball Z art stage, um, into a more realistic, like, a more fantasy-ish, realistic-ish art style, like Taite Kubo, because he really influenced my art style, and I still try to draw like him, but with my own style, so, um, because of reading those manga, I started drawing a lot since I was six, and every time I would find time, uh, any time, whether it was in class or in between homework, I would take some breaks, or whenever I, like if my dad went upstairs to get something, come back down 10 seconds later, I would just be scribbling. I drew everywhere, anytime I could. And that's basically been my drawing manga craze. And it's basically developed over the years into what it is now. I want to pursue it as a career, but I somehow don't think it'll happen. It's just basically a hobby now realistically it being being a manga artist is really just a realistic dream especially for people living in the u.s it's just um it can be kind of discouraging but you have to face reality anyway next question question number four do you like playing video games uh yes in fact i do like playing video games but uh usually only really simple ones like Mario or Pokemon. Uh, I've been playing Pokemon since 5th grade, so I'm not like an intense battler or trainer or whatever. I just play it because it's fun. Uh, I play it for the fun of it, really. I don't do competition or anything. I'm not good enough for that. Um, <clears throat> yeah, so Mario games, Mario games, Pokemon games. Um, I do play LOL, League of Legends. I did play it a few times, but I suck at it, so I don't play it that often. Also, I've tried playing Sudden Attack. Um, 
Super Mario Galaxy is a good Wii game. Mario Kart, I love Mario Kart. That I I'm pretty good competitively. Um yeah, so uh Realm of the Mad God, if you've ever played that, it's on um for it's for computers and it's on a website called realmofthemadgod.com, so you can try playing that. Um yeah, I play a lot of games, but not often. Uh I, I've recently picked up Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Explorers of the Sky. I think it came out in 2010, and I haven't touched it since. So, that's a pretty addicting game. It's I haven't played it for two years, but it's pretty addicting. Um, Alright, last question. Question number five. Oh, and before I forget, uh, I've played Heretic 2, and that's a PC game that came out in 1996. Um, it's really good. The graphics are not all that great. It runs on the Doom engine, I think, the latest one. Uh, if you even know what that is, I don't even know what that is. But if you've played Doom, I've played that before. But Heretic 2 is a good game, and I recommend you go uh, buy it, or download it, try it out. It's good. Last question. Question number five. Everybody's been asking this. Why do you never show your full face on camera? You know, I'm really not sure. I never got around to it.